Hello friends, so today in this video, we're going to discuss another problem from lead code, a problem on trees, problem name binary search tree to greater sum tree. So as you can see in this problem statement, you are given a binary search tree and you have to actually convert this tree into binary sum tree. What this binary sum tree means that uh, like every node so like you have to follow up this following condition the binary search tree is actually a tree which follows this condition which means that every node on the right side is greater than the every node on the left side uh, and that's the whole uh, binary search tree but you have to convert it to a greater tree such that the every key of the original bst is changed to original key plus sum of all the keys greater than the original key in the bst it actually means that every tree is now replaced or every node is now replaced with the summation of all the nodes or like all the node values which are greater than that so as you can see then 6 plus 7 plus 8 because these nodes values are greater than this so the values at this point is now 6 plus 7 plus 8 now value at this point is 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 value at this point is 5 6 7 8 4 I hope you get the point. So every node is replaced with a new value, which is the summation of all the values, which is greater than that value. So it actually means that you have to first go to the rightmost node, which is like the node value of that will not change because there is no node which is on the more right, which is can be more, like even more greater because you have to ensure that in a binary search tree, every node or every node value on the right side is greater than the node like the root value or the current value on which you are and every value on the left side is smaller so if you go to the right 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 till the right most node then that's the maximum value then you have to somehow transfer this value to the previous node so it's like a recursive way then transfer this value to this node okay so it means that now for this total summation you have to transfer to this node then take out this total summation transfer to this node so it means that you have to first go to the till the right node then you have to first when you have processed all the right nodes like then take the summation of all the right nodes value add it to the current node value and then send it to the right node like the left node value okay so i'll tell you with the example or like with this example only uh, so what you can do like it's just a recursive function you don't have to worry about much but if you know like the basic recursion in trees most of the questions can be solved using recursion in binary search type of trees and uh, what you can see in this problem is uh, uh, like I can show you with the code part also but we will also draw out some example to even make it more clear but see this is the like this is the calling function of this DFS this is the root because you have to change the node values and then you have to return, return the same gst so that's why i'm just change, changing out the values and then returning out the same tree so that then this is the global sum because you have to transfer these sum value what is the current sum till now because you are transferring from right till left it's like transferring from this point till this point transferring first all the right right nodes and then going to the left nodes and then storing out all the summation for all the right nodes so that we can add it to the left nodes so so that we are just adding all the sum in this so if the current node is null we just return out because that's the base condition but now we have to go till the dfs we then we just again call this dfs function again and again till that we reach a node which is which is not having any right node and when we reach that node what we'll do we will add that that node value to the sum because that node value will be transferred back to the left node so that's what we are going to do we will add now this summation value because see if we just take this example only we will go to the fourth node we'll start from the fourth node go to the right node okay go to the right node. then again go to the right node then again go to the right node then there is no right node so take this node value and there is again this summation value which is initialized to zero then what we'll do because there is no sum value we'll just add eight plus zero which is like adding out what is the node value greater than eight zero there is no no nodes so we will add zero this node will remain the same which is eight and then we will update our sum value because what is the total sum we have seen till now because we have, which we have to transfer back eight because now we have to transfer this eight back so now we have updated my sum to the root value which is eight okay now we'll go back because this is the like and then we'll call the same function for the left side because now this node is storing out the new value 
and then we'll transfer this new value to the left side okay so as you can see there is no node in the left side so we'll, we will just recurse it back recurse back now we are on this value now for this value we have transferred all the right values now we have to go to the left part before going to the left part we will update this current node value the current node value will be updated with the current node value plus the sum of all the nodes on the right side and all the node right side value stored in sum so what we'll do we'll do an updation of root sum root value current root, root value with sum it will become 15 and then we will update my total sum what is my new total sum my total sum will become 15 so i will update my sum with 15 which is the root value and then we will transfer this to the left hand side but there is no left hand side so we will recurse back if when we recurse back now i am on this node now this node is like at this point so what will what we'll do for this node this node value is actually now the summation of this node plus all the nodes value on the right side the, on the road right side is 15 plus 6 which is now it become 21 so now my total sum on the right side will be 21 and i will send this 21 to the left side so we will again call this on the left side and then from the right side i will also go to the bottom to all the right sides value all the right side nodes recursively again because for this value i have also have to like find out all the node values is greater than that or because it's a binary search tree all the node value which is greater than that are on the right side so we'll also find out the sum of all of those values and then add it to this node so the node value of this will be summation of all of the right values and the node value coming from above also because those values are also greater than i hope you get the point and then we'll go to the left side and so on because that's the like simple recursion function you the recursion function is not too difficult but the logic is you have to understand and like uh, like uh, dive deep to understand what is going on in the tree you just have to in all the recursion problem just boil down this tree into one or like two three nodes don't look over this whole node just draw one node one two nodes there and one node here just four nodes one two three four and then check that what like whether your code is working on that like whether you can understand what is going on you have to take the summation of all the right nodes which are greater than that because that's it's a binary search tree and then do the summation of all of those nodes values then add those like though that node value to the current node value on which we are and then transfer that sum to the left side so that we can do the same thing again okay so that's the whole logic for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention our gun box as an next one till then keep coding and bye